Hello everyone, welcome to another video. My name is Marcel and today I'll be showing you how you can create this transition. So welcome back to another video. It's great to see you back here again. If you're new here, please consider subscribing for future videos from me. I have exciting stuff coming up for the end of the fall, end of October, beginning of November. So stay tuned so you know what's happening then. Let's get started with this tutorial. So we'll work with this footage of this Formula One, this uh, Formula One pit stop which I got from Motion Array. So if you want high quality stock footage as well as creative assets, you can go to Motion Array and check it out. I have a link in the description below. So let's have this Formula One pit stop. What we're going to do is just bring this in and drag it into the composition icon. So this way it creates, it drags it into the composition. So let's name this, you can delete this comp one, I don't need it. So this Formula, one pit stop we can rename that comp let's name it transition now for this step to work it's very important that you match the the clip with the composition settings we can reframe this to whatever we like, we like later on as you can see this clip it's a little bit on the wider side so it's not an exact 16 by 9 aspect ratio but we can just crop in later on we want to create a layer of just the car and we don't really care about the black parts of the car, mostly just the red part of that car. This transition is going to work really well if you have colors that are very specific and if you don't have too many gradients with that color or that object, this is going to work best with that, that kind of footage. But something that's a little bit more complicated and you have mixing of lighting and colors, it's, it's going to be a lot more difficult to do. So just keep that in mind. So once we're here, we can select the car at this point, go to the Roto Brush tool, and double click on the layer here and this brings us to the layer panel so this is really important you want you don't want to be in the composition panel but you want to be in the layer panel so once we're here we can just draw a little shape around the red car like so and we can zoom in a little bit fill in the parts that we still want that mask to be in. Um, if you hold Option or Alt, you can delete parts of that mask or, or that roto. And this doesn't have to be super clean. We are primarily concerned just with the red. So once you have a decent mask, a decent roto, you can go and hit the space bar. And just like that, After Effects is going to mask out that image with that roto. So now we can go back a little bit. And you can see After Effects just doing its thing as well. Let's drag this a little bit back forward, back as well. And let's zoom out. Okay, so After Effects has done a really good job. So once we have this, what you want to do is now freeze the layer. And this is going to take a while depending on the clip that you're using. Okay, so now that uh, this has been done, we'll go back to the composition and you can see that this red car has been now cut out. What we're going to do now is name this cut out. And I forgot to duplicate this layer and make it a background layer. So we'll do that now. Control or Command D and we'll, change, we'll name this background layer. We'll bring this to the bottom. And one thing we're going to do first is get rid of the roto brush on this layer because we don't need that. So this is what we get right now. So what we're going to do now is disable this background layer for now and we're going to work with this car. So maybe at about here, this is where we want that transition to start happening. So we can, can shift command D to cut this layer this way. So what we can do now is add the change to color effect. So go over to effects and add this change to color, drag it onto the clip. We'll select now the red from two, we'll just select a blue or whatever color you like. And we can adjust that softness a little bit. 
and play with the hue a little bit till all of that has been changed. So that looks good. All right, so we'll enable the background layer again. So now this is what we have. And what we're going to do now is add a radial, no, a linear wipe. So again, go to effects, linear wipe, and let's add it onto the top clip. Let's toggle this effect open, go to effects right here, linear wipe, and let's turn on the stopwatch. The transition is zero and at about here, we'll make it a hundred. About here, we'll drag it all to a hundred and this is well when it'll start to wipe. But I want that wipe to go the other way. So what we're going to do is change that wipe angle to minus about 268. And this is what we would get. Like a little wipe and we can adjust that. And I'll just select both keyframes and make them easy ease, smoothen them out. And let's feather that to about 10. So next thing we're going to do is to add that really cool saber effect. So let's right click at a new solid. It can be any color. We'll just put type saber in here. And this is a, a plugin, free plugin from Video Cool Pilot. I'll put a link in the description below if you want to check it out. So drag this into your solid. This is what we see. So right now what I can do is change the blending, blending mode to screen, not color dodge, to screen. And we're going to make this red. So I'll just use the color picker to make this red. And you can use one of these presets. Um, if you don't want to design something from scratch, I have already designed mine and I've named mine Fractual. 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 Fract. I don't know how to. I don't know how to say that properly. So you can play around with some of these settings and fine tune your saber effect. So what we'll do now is I'll probably just cut cut this clip because I want this to start later on. So Command Shift D, and I can get rid of this piece right here. I'll get the saber to follow that linear white. Click on the saber effect and select a core start. And we'll put this over here. This is where it'll start. Core end. Let's turn on the stopwatch. Toggle the position for this layer, for this solid of the saber and turn on that spot, uh, stopwatch for that. And we'll go forward and follow that linear white. So once we're done, we'll go back now and adjust that size of that saber. So right here and over here, we want that to be bigger. So we'll just go into the core start and the core end to adjust that. This is good. This will make it a little smaller and that's it. So now next thing we're going to do is toggle the opacity. Press T on your keyboard. And we want this to start maybe at about here. We'll turn on the stopwatch. We'll go a couple frames earlier and set that opacity to zero. Now we'll go to the end. And as soon as the car passes by, we'll create a keyframe over here. Maybe go a couple of keyframes forward and turn that to zero. Now all there is to do is add an adjustment layer to create a fake shake effect. So right click new adjustment layer and I want this adjustment layer to only be over this color transition effect. We're going to add a transform effect. So click on transform, drag it to the adjustment layer. You want to make sure that you toggle the transform effect and you that and you play around with the scale, position and rotation of that effect as opposed to these ones right here which are the ones that are for that layer. So once we're here, we turn on the stopwatches and now you can adjust different settings, rotation, scale, and play around with different things. So after you have done that, this is what it looks like. You can fine tune it even further, but for the purpose of this tutorial, this is what I am going to do. And that's it. This is how you can create this really cool car color transition 
using Adobe After Effects. If you enjoyed this video, you found it useful, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Let me know in the comments below what other things you would like to know about Adobe After Effects or just editing in general. I'll love to answer some of your questions by posting a video or creating a tutorial about that. So that's it. Thank you for coming. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.